It's the end of the summer term, and a whole host of Year 10 students are being set to work. You don't put any of those in because that, that, that's a bramble root. But this is no case of slave labour by stealth. Instead, it's a novel way for woodwork specialist John Hemsley as a, as, a, as, a, as a trade secret, that one. Don't tell anybody. To encourage the well-rounded growth of the student. It's not far out, that one, is it? This is Homewood School in Kent. It's one of the largest schools in the country, with a population of over 2,100 pupils. And there are as many as 120 associate staff on site to look after the welfare of each child. It could be the caretaker ensuring safety on the roads, or the school farmer, a world away from daily lessons. But they're all fundamental to ensuring that each student is on the right track. The government have called the skills they all need the common core. And here at Homewood, they think these qualities are thriving throughout the school. We'll be looking at two aspects of the common core in this program. Throughout the school, Year 10 students are hard at work. They're scattered around the site, in places like the art department, the library, and the grounds. And it's just one way for the school to bring on the personal development of their pupils. Outside, these boys are being set to work by woodwork expert John Hemsley. What that's doing, that's pushing the connector into the wood. That'll do. That's all right. That one there. This is um, a genuine pergola, um, first used in the Chinese Dong dynasty, about 5000 BC, and we've finally got them in England now. It may perhaps be a tiring two weeks. On the pergola, I prefer doing the digging and reach up high and doing the clamping. That just takes a mick. But they're lucky to have a place at all, since the credit crunch has cut the amount of available positions outside the school. The, uh, the, the project was initially for the chaps that couldn't get work placement, because uh, Year 10s are doing two weeks work experience. We only need to put another board down the front there, OK? So if you expose the front of... They've taken out all, all the weeds and undergrowth. We're creating a, a flower bed on the on the border here. On, on the pergola itself, uh, there's going to be clematises and uh, other climbing plants. And put them up the other side, up the other end. So it's something that uh, is, is going to be there for quite some time. When talking about or discussing the issue of personal development, there is no perfect fit for any young person. You can't suddenly one day say, today we're going to develop this in you. It takes time because of the context of that young person. Personal development may sometimes be difficult to pin down, but the work experience teams are busy all over the school site. I think it's good, you get a sense of responsibility and you get an insight to what a teacher's life is and like how you think upon students, as in you help them with things. It's been it's sort of different because like being at school and like seeing all the teachers here, it's a bit, it's a bit weird, but I've enjoyed it. It's been good. Homewood School is also lucky enough to have a fully working farm on site. They rear their own livestock such as cattle, sheep, pigs and poultry to name but a few. And the farm is used as an outdoor classroom where students can get their hands dirty and learn about everything from animal husbandry to teamwork. We are bedding down the cattle. Yeah, and we're washing them in a minute. And tomorrow we've got a test, so they've got to be nice and clean for the judge. Tomorrow, Saturday, and because all the dirt they get stained, and they don't look very good. It's fun. Just got with Becca though. It's cool. You have to learn. So here we have, we learn and we have fun. <laughs> These girls are a part of Homewood's Young Farmers Group. And at this time of year, they're all being kept busy preparing for the annual livestock competition at the Kent County Show. Let's pretend you're in the ring at every opportunity from now on, Shelby, all right? And then it'll be easy. They're under the guidance of assistant farm manager, Nikki Norris. Today we're getting, this is uh, all our Kent Show lambs that we've got out today. We've washed them once so far. Today the kids are going to be paired up with their lambs. They'll now be spending the next sort of three or four days frantically carding, washing, 
and getting them absolutely tip top and perfect ready for the show next week. Right, there we go. This is this is like it or not, this is what they're called. Draw one out, Shelby. Farm manager Andy Town is making sure all the young farmers and their lambs are as they should be. Westwood. Vivian and Westwood. Wow. <laughs> You're starting them on the bottom of the ladder and then they go up. We have loads and loads and loads of year sevens like next month in our new intake, hundreds of them. You've got Ralph and Lauren. Ralph and Lauren. Lauren. Right, that's Ralph and Lauren. This is Westwood and that's Vivian. I'm Laura. And this is Ashley. And this one's Tom and this one's Hilfiger. We get guys come down that are very within their self, should I say. But the other guys take them on, take them under their wing, dare I say and before long they're one of the gang, you know, which is really good. It's good to see, and um, we have fallouts, of course we have fallouts, they all do, but we never we never make a, now what is their words? Um, we never make a dispute, ruin a friendship. Don't forget, or any opportunity, pass on your knowledge to the younger ones. Lauren yeah. hasn't done it before, Rosa, has she? You can practise holding them together, showing her how to teach her how to tidy. And just practice sitting there for ages. More than anything, you could be out in the no. ring for over an hour, couldn't you? Sitting still. Teamwork is the underlying number one core, the core thing that holds us all together. Fundamentally, these kids are brothers and sisters. Basically, they are very, very close and they work very, very well. So they learn a lot of respect for each other as well, which is good. Right. You've got to show them as a pair. As close as a pair as we can get them. Keep them as nice and tight together. Pair of butcher's hands, that's what you're doing. That end, that's it. That end, that's good. Well done, girls, that's good. You taste them already, then, too. They learn so much out of it. It's not just farming. It teaches them a lot of life skills as well. And ultimately, it teaches them what hard work is. So they're going into the workplace and they think, this is easy, actually, because if you've been a young farmer, work is easy. <laughs> so it seems that on the farm, as everywhere else, the personal development of students is alive and well. Right, thank you. Um, Hiya. And why are you late? Um, well, we went to the uh, farm and then they told us to sign in at women's schools. That's okay, they are let Hastings Women's School now. Have a nice time at the Kent Show. Hiya. In the student support office, Kim Taylor is marking down the day's absences and latecomers. And were you late? Keeping track of each child is no mean feat when you have 2,100 students to account for. They need an efficient process of sharing information in every part of the school. And even though you can't ignore the part played by technology, it would serve no purpose without the dedication of Homewood's associate staff. You have 15 new messages. Kim is at the front line of the information sharing process, and part of her morning routine involves checking the attendance line for any unplanned absences. Hello, this is the mother of Antonia Hills. She won't be in for the rest of the term. Sometimes they just say they run well. Sometimes you get every symptom that the child's going through and the family as well from top to toe. But if a family member just been rushed into hospital, there's masses of reasons why they ring um, and we have to take that decision on whether we want to forward it to somebody else that might like to take it further. A child might be being bullied at school. Mum said I've tried every day this week, can't get them into school. Um, they're being bullied therefore we would forward that on to the mini school and the form tutor. It's a busy job at the best of times but it's not made any easier when there's a flu pandemic on the loose. Oh hello this is um, Mrs Rice regarding uh, Lisa Rice from Form N1. Um, we've decided in the light of the current fl swine flu that I thought it would be best to keep her off school today and tomorrow um, to see if any other symptoms develop. I anticipate she should be back to school on Friday unless I'm notified otherwise. Thank you. We're getting a lot of calls about swine flu. If we get somebody that's diagnosed, we pass it on to the nurses and they'll let the headmaster know straight away. Um, if they're saying they're not going to come to school because there's swine flu in the school. Um, I had a, this yesterday, the exact phone call. That's going to be an unauthorised absence, probably. I don't make that decision. Kim works closely with the school nurses in situations like this to make sure that they're aware of the daily tally of sick notes. Gail Adams handles this when she's not treating cuts and bruises. So have you just done that now as well, though? No. 
That's because that looks new, because that bit... She answers to Kent's all-powerful health protection unit to keep them in the know about every new case of swine flu. We have had a couple of cases of swine flu now. Um, we're letting senior management know, we're letting the health protection unit know, and because we had the first case last week, um, the student had, had actually been on work experience, had not been in school for two weeks, but even so a letter was sent to all parents yesterday from the health protection unit instructing them what to do. Unfortunately, some parents are still very concerned and so we have had calls this morning. Right, I've got two here, um, a girl and a boy who are both diabetic and uh, parents are keeping them off because of swine flu in the school, so do you want to ring home or...? I don't know what they want us to do about that. I mean, it, you, it, we could be ringing everybody up with swine flu who's kept the kids off. I mean, they just let the um, mini schools know because I think they're keeping a list of people who are off with swine flu. Okay. They're, not the they're, not a, well. they're not unwell. They've got yeah. an underlying medical condition. Yeah, but, not but it unwell, shouldn't really they? affect be affected by swine flu anyway. But unless you lock yourself in your house, don't do not go to the shop, do not go out, do not have your post delivered. You know, there's always somebody going to be coming to the door or you'll be in contact with somebody. So close in schools, you're not, there's no more risk than being anywhere else out in public, so. Anyone have any questions? So the information is on the sheet. So as I was saying, draw it out in pencil first. This may look like a normal lesson taken by a regular teacher. Make sure you put your name on the work, please. But it's another case of how they like to do things differently at Homewood to cope with the challenges of being such a large school. My name's Lucy Blythe and my position at Homewood is a study manager and the job involves covering lessons for absent teachers. Guys, can we keep the noise down please, okay? You should if it's all... a planned absence, then they normally set their own cover work and, and themselves and leave it in their room or in the cover tray. Um, if it's an unplanned absence, they normally ring the absence line and then that is fed through to the department and then the department head uh, normally passes on work. It's a classic chain of communication which guarantees that information is shared efficiently among staff members. Mm, you could add some more stuff in there. Next to the London Eye, Saturday the 11th of July, £40 per ticket. £40? It's good, you know. So what's the... It's nerve-wracking. Some subjects are better than others. I think we've all got sort of areas that we prefer. But it, it's, you have to think on your feet you have to use your initiative. It's, it's a difficult job, definitely. Boys, if you can't work well together, I'll just move you. Oh, I'll just write one thing from this. Okay, that's fine. Johnny Cash. So give me some Johnny Cash titles. Lucy is a full-time employee, and she's not afraid to lay down the law around the school, since she knows the students as well as they know Olivia, her. Olivia, why aren't you a lesson? We're going now. Um, um, you're yeah. five minutes late. Go, go. Which means that at Homewood, study managers like Lucy Blythe are a far cry from the conventional supply teacher. They see us all the time, every day. Well, not every day, obviously, but we don't go anywhere. So if we want to um, give them a detention after school, they know that we can. We can give them sanctions. and They can't escape us, basically. 